Hey guys, back with Lewis from Moreno. We're gonna give it another try today with multi-species fishing today. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys. I'm uh, I dug into my little trout box here. I'm gonna try this little uh, yellow worm out. It did have an orange ball on it, but I took it off. I'm gonna see if I can get any hits on this. See, see what happens. See. Yeah, he was pulling on it. He was taking off with it. That was pretty cool. All right, let's see if I can get him a hit again. Here. Oh, there goes the turtle. Yeah, he thought about it for a second. He said, nuh-uh. Uh-uh. Get away from it. Get away from it. <laughs> I don't want to catch him. Is that you going to give up today? Let's see how this goes. Yeah, because you're not casting like I showed you how to cast. This? Cast is... Sideways. Look, wham. That's all you gotta do. Hmm? That's a big old carp. Oh, whatever that was, he took it under. There you go. Yeah, that worm's floating. Like, it's definitely, uh... That would definitely be a good drop shot. Drop shot a worm. You won't chill. Cause it ain't my for some reason my bobber ain't going up to I my line. Here, he don't want me. Oh, she caught the first fish. Pretty little bluegill here. Let him go. Oh, what the heck? Yeah. I'm going to try a little different hook set next time. Huh? Yeah. Throw it right on top of my bobber. No turtle, get away. Oh yeah. What we got here? Ooh, look, that's a nice size bluegill too. 
Jeez. Dang, this is almost as big as my dang palm. Look at that. Nice. Now let's see if we can catch another one. Still using corn, baby. Oh, there was another hit. Got to be some good sized fish down there. They like this little, uh, like this little worm. Looks like. I'm not too big on panfish artificials either. I usually go for night crawlers or corn, the the simple stuff. It's pretty cool getting hit on artificials. All right, guys, I'm gonna take this apart real quick. Give you a little uh, insight on this little micro Shakespeare here. Hopefully that's all it is, is that little nut came undone in there and it just needs to be tightened down. That'll be an easy fix. If not, that means I'm gonna have to get my other, uh, my other micro reels, one of the two I got at home and uh, put it back on this rod. I love the, using this rod, it's very, very sensitive. All right now, come off here. There we go. There's the top. Set that right there for a second. Yep, that's what it is. See that little nut right there, guys? It came undone. Came loose. So I'm gonna tighten it down and uh, get back to fishing. Yep, I fixed it. And when I get home, I'll take some pliers to it and tighten it down just a little bit more because I just hand tighten it so it might loosen up again. Let's put this back together and get back to fishing. Push. Push in. You know how hard that is when he's slimy me and trying to stab me? He's oh, she's caught her second fish of the day. Just look. Like this. Push. Pull out. Listen. I'm not pro. Dude. Those are some good hooks, too. I think those are some trocars, believe. They look deformed. Little offset, little offset blue go hooks. Pretty good hooks. I'm in the lead. Yeah, you are. <laughs> as soon as I catch another you're the, one. You're in the lead with the most bots. Ooh, that was immediate. Crazy. Holy crap, look at that. They just took the dang worm off. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get another one on and see what happens. I saw that one, and I cast it right on top of him.
Oh, sweet. It may not be a big one, but it's a bass. Yeah. Well guys, we had somewhat of a good fishing day. We did get skunked on big fish today, some small ones, but we had fun fishing. Um, stay tuned for next time, like and subscribe to the video.